ended our previous video by writing this number with the help of commas like this. Using comma clearly makes it easier to express the number in words. It's 4 crores 23 lakhs 49,816. But hold on, why have we used the commas in such a way? We left 3 digits from the right, then 2, then 2 again. Well, that's the Indian system of numeration. Commas are used to mark thousands, lakhs and crores. So I add a comma after 3 digits, leave 2 more digits and then mark another comma and then another comma after 2 more digits. Remember, whenever we are marking commas, we go from right to left. Always. It tells us that the number is 4 crores 23 lakhs 49,816. That's how the Indian system of numeration works. Leaves 3 digits from the right, then 2 digits, and then 2 digits again. 3, 2, 2, and so on. Thousands, lakhs, and crores. Now I will give you two numbers. And using the Indian system of numeration, I want you to mark commas and also write the numbers in words. Here are your numbers. Now let's form a table like this. We have the numbers in the first column. And we have two more columns for you to write the numbers using commas and then in words. Let me help you with the first one. Let's just copy the number without the commas in the second column first. First comma three digits from the right, then two digits and then two digits again. This is how the number will look with commas. And this will easily help us to write the number in words. It will be 8 crores 75 lakhs 63,201. Now using the same concept, I want you to fill these two cells of the table. And this is what you should get. So I hope the Indian system of numeration is clear now. Go leftwards, 3, 2 and 2. Thousands, lakhs and crores. Now I want you to imagine this situation. Say you travel to the United States of America and end up talking to a couple of people from there. And you tell them that the population of India is 130 crores. Well, guess what? They will have no idea what you're talking about. It's because they don't follow the Indian system of numeration. They use the international system of numeration. Now the international system is interesting and quite easy to understand. Why do I say it's easy? Here's why. In the international system, this is 1000, this is 1 million, this is 1 billion and this is 1 trillion. Three zeros is thousand, six zeros is million, nine zeros is billion and twelve zeros is trillion. Multiples of three is a good way to remember the international system. There's no concept of lakhs and crores in the international system. If you look at the last number, notice how the commas are marked. 3, 3, 3. A comma is marked after every three digits from the right. Like the Indian system talks in terms of thousands, lakhs and crores, the international system talks in terms of thousands, millions and billions. The best way to understand both systems is by comparing them. I'll give you a few numbers and together we will try writing them in both systems. Here's the first number. It's 1000. And it's written in the same way in both the systems. Indian as well as international. Both systems start off with thousands. In the Indian system, it's thousands, lakhs and crores. And in the international system, it's thousands, millions and billions. Here's your next number. In the Indian system, we mark one comma three digits from the right and then one more after two digits. This one gives us one lakh. What about this number in the international system? In this system, it's just three, three and three from the right. So we mark one comma three digits from the right. And then we stop as there are only three digits left. We can't really mark a comma here, can we? So one lakh in the international system is nothing but 100,000. Now, can you write the following numbers in both the systems?
here are the results. The third number is 10 lakhs in the Indian system and 1 million in the international system. What about the fourth number? In the Indian system, it's 1 crore. Can you tell me what's it called in the international system? Yes, 10 million. Can you tell me what these two numbers will be called? Yes, 100 crores in the Indian system and 1 billion in the international system. Now try writing these two numbers in both the systems using commas as well as words. And tell us your answers in the comment section below.